is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of America Legion Radio, rallypoint.com. We're White Plains, New York today, a commemoration of the October 1776 Battle of White Plains, a very important event in American history as un- the American soldiers, America's first veterans under the leadership of General George Washington were trying to survive the overwhelming numbers of forces coming from the British Army and British Navy uh, in the New York City area, coming up to Westchester, making a stand here on the hills overlooking White Plains. Let's talk to some of the officials and reenactors, the living historians at today's event. About over 250 people came today to just uh, take a moment and look back at October of 1776 and the sacrifices made by the men and women who uh, fought the crown here in White Plains. And eventually the uh, colonials won the American Revolution. The the battle is really... um, it shows the brilliance of Washington's uh, military uh, acumen. Uh, I mean, he was going up against uh, the strongest armed force in the globe at that time. And- there was a lot of chal- challenges dealing with an army of untrained men. You're dealing with the civilian population. You're dealing with shopkeeps. You're dealing with bakers, carpenters, tailors, people from all walks of life, of course, farmers, and trying to train them against one of the most powerful armies in the world, and of course, seasoned, well-seasoned British soldiers who are trained to fight properly. It took a long, long time. It took another two years. It wasn't until of June of 1778, after we broke out of our winter encampment in Valley Forge, where you started to see the Continental Army fighting on the same lines of the British Army, and that's when we start winning our battle. We got an opportunity to commemorate the actions of people 242 years ago or so who fought here, many of them who died here, you know, who gave or were willing to give everything that they had to create a new nation. And we are indebted to them uh, as we are indebted to so many people uh, who have served the nation since then and still today. These are, these are some of the rations that they would carry with them. These, these are peas. Peas were a very, very common uh, food source for them. They'd also be issued some rice or some flour that's in here. These were very common. This is, this is the, uh, the hardtack. If, and if you say you've never had hardtack, I beg to differ. If you ever have a saltine cracker, then you probably have, um, they would they would try to be issued like like a pound of beef uh, or salt pork or or fish um, as part of their part of their diet. Uh, but, but a lot of times they, they just went they just went hungry. Uh, my unit was 7075. Our unit was actually formed, went up to Canada, lost, reorganized, came south, all be, and disbanded all before the Declaration of Independence was even signed you who remember the pencil box, Ethan Allen, big tall guy, they invade, they took that fort. But the next day, there was a problem. Ethan Allen didn't, couldn't defend it. He was screaming for help. They, they found, the founding companies of our regiment were actually the ones that went to his aid because he was not going to be able to hold the fort. And that got New York into the American Revolution. It's so important to hear about American history and those who study it and those who are telling the story of America's first veterans and the leadership of General George Washington in that important year in the first months of our country in 1776, commemoration of the Battle of White Plains, October 1776. This is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio and RallyPoint.com.